Abe Lincoln was once quoted for saying, if you give me six hours to chop down a tree, I'm gonna spend the first four sharpening the ax. So the Helco company just came out with an ax sharpening kit that I'm gonna show you how it works. It's kind of an all-in-one kit. It would make a nice gift or just something if you own a nice ax to have so you can properly take care of the handles and take care of the steel. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you what that kit looks like and how it works. I've been very thankful for my opportunities to review some height and axes and malls. And when you get into the better quality, you're gonna notice the high carbon steel that they have needs more maintenance. So it needs to be oiled more, needs, and the sharpening will probably last longer when you have higher carbon. But I, I really never have spent a lot of time maintaining them. I, so I've noticed if I don't oil them, they'll start to rust more. So I'm really glad that the Helco company came out with this. It's basically an all-in-one sharpening kit. So it runs about a hundred bucks. So if your tool is a boiled linseed oil finish, then you can maintain it with this. And then the high carbon steel, you can oil it, you can sharpen it, everything in here as well. So let's take a closer look. At, I'm gonna open this and kind of explain each one. And then I'll demonstrate. I have a uh, Works Pegasus table with a, a vice clamp on it. And I'll put that, this in there, and we'll test it out. Okay, so here it is. Just has a nice little leather strap. And the Helco company really makes nice leather products. Like this, for instance, I've had some other ones where they tend to split the sheath. These have held up really nice. I'm very impressed with them. So here is the kit. Here's some 150 grit sandpaper. That would be for your boiled linseed oil handle. This one right here I was using earlier today. This is the Vario 2000. This is a lightly lacquered one, so you're not going to really need to maintain that so much. Unless you ever sand this down and put a boiled linseed oil, which I've seen some people do, then this kit will work for you. But for the most part, this is a little more maintenance free when you have it lightly lacquered. It has this standing sponge right here. And this is really good for taking those little burrs of wood. This one doesn't have too many, but there's sometimes some wood that I split and you get some, some wood burrs and it's pretty difficult to, like I've taken oil and a cloth trying to wipe it off, but that stuff seems to stick really well. And so I haven't really tested this kit out, but I did hear that this works very well. Here is a hand file and this is a single cut pattern on this side and this is a cross cut pattern. That will remove the material a little faster than the single side. Okay, here is a sharpening stone. This has two different sides to it. So it's like a hockey puck. So there's a smoother side and a more coarse side. So here's the ax guard head oil. So what you do after you use your ax, like, for instance, this one is actually still wet. There's some snow outside. So it's recommended that you wipe this down and then put some drops of oil on the rag and then have a nice light thin coat of oil over this to keep this from rusting. All right, I'm gonna clamp it down on this little work table right here. This is called the Works Pegasus. I do have a vise that I'm planning on installing on my workbench, but I just haven't got around to it yet. So I'm gonna just show you the sanding sponge on here. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. So I'll just take the sponge here and just I go in a circular motion. Yeah, that seems to really do a great job. If you can see that, really cleaned that side up very nice. This is one of my favorite axes right here by Hoko. I uh, have this accessory right here. This is a leather overstrike protector. And I believe this is called the Black Forest Woodworker's Axe. I, I just like using this for limbing trees before I buck them down and having this nice and sharp is very important to me. So right now it's not that bad, but if I did need to file it down some, if it needed just a little bit, I'd start with the single sided file. So you would just go down towards it. You don't pull back, but I'm just trying to maintain that same pattern, which I believe was about 18 degrees. Yeah. 
Just do it equally on both sides. I'll make sure I'm not using the cross cut side. Alright, so here's a sharpening stone. This side is a little more fine, that side's a little more coarse. So we're going to start with the coarse side. From what I've read, that it's a good idea to always have oil when you're using this. So you can use this head oil right here. I've used, I've heard of people using like paraffin oil. And the layer of the oil, probably the sharper that's going to get. I also purchased, I, I do some kitchen knife sharpening. I have this stuff right here. I, all right, let me put a little more on here. Kind of both sides. It's a little bit thick. I don't want it too thick. All right, then you just, just kind of get a firm grip on it. And then just try to follow the angle. And this, I recommend going in a circular motion. Just kind of going back and forth. A few times on both sides. Okay, I'll just kind of float those steel particles away. There's still the oil hanging on right there. And then you can look to see. You don't want to make sure you don't want to have it going back too far to there. Then you know that you have it at the wrong angle. So you just want that initial part right there, probably like that first uh, three-eighths of an inch, quarter inch, three-eighths of an inch, somewhere in there. So now I'm going to go to the smoother side right here, one that's less coarse. Let's get a light coating of oil on there. This side glides a little easier. This is what really puts the fine edge on it. Yeah, I find it best to look down at it. You can, there's different angles to sharpen, but this is my favorite right here. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to just treat the handle, give it a light coating. So I'll just use the sandpaper here that they provided. Sometimes if you have some overstrikes, you may need to um, definitely sand that the most. But for the most part, this needs a, a nice gentle sanding over here. All right, for this, I think I'm just gonna put on a glove so I don't have to worry about washing my hands. I have this rag right here. Just put a nice amount on it. Okay, so there's the boiled linseed oil. Just a nice shiny coating, not too heavy. Get the end. This is just going to protect it for a long time to come. So you don't want it too heavy on there, so I'm just going to Kind of lightly wipe it off. All right, there we go. So I think it might not be a bad idea to keep one cloth for the the boiled linseed oil, and maybe put another cloth in there for the axe head oil, just so you keep the two oils separate on your on your rags. Okay, that looks like that's ready to go. So this concludes my quick little review of the Helco Axe Maintenance Kit. I really think this will make a great gift for somebody or just something to buy yourself that will last a really long time. I highly recommend it. If you want to learn more about this, I have some links down below. Please click on those. And if you find this video interesting or informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time. All right, so if you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. So please click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, 
hit that button down below. And if you want to see what I'm up to throughout the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends, enjoy.